Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, it's Let's Build a Tune Series 3, number 38. So, as you can see, this is a day in the life kind of episode again. And that is why there are not quite so many episodes of late. It's very simple, in fact. Um, not a lot to tell, once again. So, yeah, bit of a thing. Anyway, I've just cut a pearl I picked up earlier. So, let's sell that. Not so bad. No, that was just a random one that dropped from a sunfist. So, let's see what uh, the mission handler has for me today. I'm applying for a job. What did I get? Oh, God! Rats. Yeah, that one's always fun. So, there's nothing new to tell. There's no upgrades other than we finished off, and I will make a video for it, uh, the uh, Nevatra quest, which is extremely long and pretty annoying. We also picked up the parts for immunity in Vortex, which is pretty nice. And, of course, the, the, uh, the main thing we were doing that for was for that. So there we go. We've got our control unit and ear and thigh. So we can actually do those and also got a sense agility belt in between. So nothing massively exciting there. However, it all starts to add up. I will get that leg in later. Why have I? Why is it playing the music? Daily note from the senior handler. Oh God, I didn't hand in the mission from last time from the prisoner. Great. Hmm, what to do first? Probably let's head to Inferno. So Inferno boots and let's blitz out there and see how we do. So let's have a look. Let's get the right map for a start. Yeah, not a lot to tell, unfortunately. Not very exciting. But this is the truth of it. After 228. There's still stuff to do, for sure, but um, it's just not that different. We've done the DB quest, we've done all that. I mean, I suppose we could set the character up for PvP, such as uh, in full, uh, engineers are for PvP. But, um, yeah, I'm trying a slightly different SLI configuration uh, set up on this one based on the Conan game engine, not the new one with the um, unfortunate body part slider. Um, it seems fairly consistent. Um, I'm just trying it out to see. It seems to have gotten rid of the flickering. Ooh, sunfish. Seems pretty smooth. I'm gonna do a bit more experimenting and then uh, I'll explain it. Wow. Well, let's see. Under two minutes. <laughs> so we clicked the can and we got here and the first heck, the first sunfish I kill drops this. Well, that's, um, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty surprising, if I'm honest. I was not expecting that. I am going to check out this SLI profile a little bit more though. Um, this will only apply to very few people. Um, not many people run SLI and Anarchy Online. I think I'm in a minority of about three people that actually bother doing that. And to be honest, I think I would rather have one singular, more powerful graphics card. It generally is better, um, but, you know, the way this one happened was pretty good. Although it has sorted out... Um, a few new newer AAA titles that um, I thought I would give a go. Now, usually round here is where we get freezes and or complete game crash. So let's have a look. It's usually get to about here. 
And if we turn, okay, we've got a free screen. Oh, but it didn't actually crash. Still getting shockingly bad frame rates though. Kill that. Guys, kill it. Yeah. It's, it's really weird. I can get SLI to work, but then my frame rate goes down, which is kind of backwards. See, in The Witcher 3, I was getting 45, 50-ish, and then running SLI, I, got, I went to that magic 60 frames a second where, yeah, 60 frames a second is where gameplay is acceptable. And the only reason I'm able to play Anarchy Online at a lower frame rate is because it's been around so long. And even when we were on CRT monitors with, you know, 160, 200 megahertz refresh rates, um, it was still running at like 15, 16 frames somewhere busy in Anarchy Online on the DirectX 7 engine with, because it was so CPU bound. And don't forget, you know, a one gigahertz processor was a bit top end back then. Um, plus, you know, they were single core or if you were lucky, dual core. So, yeah, you kind of developed a method, you know, especially in busy stuff like uh, Noten Wars and stuff like that to actually survive playing the game at incredibly sucky frame rate. Something like a first person shooter. There's just no way I would be able to um, play the game that way. It's, um, you know, just not. Yeah. So, yeah. The only reason I'm able to, to manage at low ones now, but I don't see the point in having less than 60 frames a second in SLI when I can get, you know, 100 and cap it on a single card. Um, the cards do run slightly cooler and the load is only at, I'm just looking across at the other screen now, yeah, GPU load, it's just hovering at 40% and memory at where we are now, it's obviously going to change quite a bit here there and everywhere yeah it's uh, just not that high i found a dojo dojo chip in inferno there we go so even more towards the research which is at the moment yeah we're nearly there just to get that bit more agility and the idea behind that is it will make symbionts easier later on so next we've got one of my least favourite missions, which is uh, good old rats. <laughs> and go to our favourite place, ICC. And this does something weird with the graphics card. Oh God, long zone. So what have you got now? Oh my God, like 20 odd frames a second. But the GPU load is only 30% here. And memory, though, is over a gig. But I've got more than enough for that. However, it's, uh, it's not keen. It's just one of those terribly optimized areas. However, we do not have flickering, although I'll probably swap back to single GPU simply to get the frame rate back up. Have I flagged myself? I don't think I did. Maybe I did? No. Because I forgot to turn off the blind. I seem to be constantly doing that. It is a total pain in the bottom. Yes, it is. So not only have I been playing a little bit of Skyrim, as you might have seen, uh, it's one of those games I played for about a week and never really finished it and then you know, stuff happened and I never got around to finishing it. There was a lot of stuff happening in real life where, to be honest, I didn't have a lot of time for any games. So, yeah, it fell by the wayside, but I've always wanted to go back to it. And, um, seriously, dog me? <laughs> yeah. Pets following different instruction sets. Yeah. No bugs there. So, yeah, it was one of those. I've always had an itch to go back and try it, which is what I'm doing. And uh, considering it's non-Anarchy Online, and because it isn't Anarchy Online, then, as far as YouTube's concerned, it doesn't exist on my channel. Um, that just seems to be their attitude. <laughs> if you search Anarchy Online, because of all the content I've already created, um, yeah, it comes out as a pretty high, you know, 
a high result on the search, but it, it just doesn't quite seem to work for, the, for pretty much anything else I do. But yeah, and there have been changes on YouTube lately. They've now made it so if your channel has less than 10,000 views total, that's your lifetime views, which to be honest with you is not difficult to get, um, then you can't monetize your videos. YouTube can but you cannot you can't make any money out of them I'm not exactly sure why this was done um, I think it was to stop people creating clickbait videos getting maybe you know 5,000 views on them which is literally with the best monetization in the world is gonna make you you know pennies literally not even a dollar or a pound or a krona depending on you know wherever you're from so yeah it doesn't really affect me I've got over I think half a million views in total um, that will probably if if the rates carry on um, that would most likely hit a million within uh, oh god I think the, if you follow the chart it's something silly like you know another couple of years so you know and that's if I just leave things as they are I don't know because some of the algorithms have changed if you made a video eight years ago but the channel itself has no new content then that video starts to drop to the bottom no matter how good it actually was rather than you know if you're making a video every day then you feature more highly on YouTube because your content is likely to be more up-to-date and engaging so yeah, YouTube constantly changes things I don't do it as a living it's just a bit of a hobby really that um, kind of grew and grew and people liked it so I just carried on doing it let's get these guys to where we're actually going with the dramatic da -da 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 music yes indeed yeah I was looking at all the mods you can actually get for Skyrim you know like the EMB stuff and texture remods and all that I was thinking it would be great you know if you could do that with a game like anarchy online but i don't think you actually can i don't think funcom allow it so even if you had the means and the know-how to actually code it and script it and do it um you would actually be breaking your eula with uh, with funcom how many have we done of this awful mission how many did i kill so far 89 it's never quite enough but there's quite a few on that beach it's Kind of one of my favourite spots to get them. So I need 11 more. Besides, after doing something intense, like a, a Let's Play video, or a Let's Build video, to be more accurate, there's there's a few um, Let's Play Anarchy Online, but the, the problem with them is, unless with a Let's Play... I think the audience expects you to be entertaining and explain everything that you're doing and why you're doing it or role play the character you're playing and if you if you don't do those two things then you might get one or two sort of views on the first one in the series but then you won't get much more after that so people find me my voice and stuff that I say entertainment therefore you know they continue you know to watch whichever videos i put out and i do my best to make them the best quality i can i use decent quality microphones and stuff like that and i, I put time into the editing to to see that it kind of flows or you know if it holds my interest then hopefully it will hold other people's um, if it's no kind of effort put into it then you'll probably not get much out of it oh he said and I think we crashed. Right, we're back. And I've gone back to uh, single card. I don't know if you can see in the top right there, we've just gained about 10 frames a second here, just running on a single GPU, which is pretty strange. So, what have I got left? Um, yeah, I could have actually stayed on the top tier there and gone across to the AI area, but... Um, I forgot that's where I was going next <laughs> so instead um, let's go through the clan agency route yep 
Yeah. Like that was any quicker than where we just went. I've still got the damn music from in that interior. I'm going to find that file and turn it down to nothing. We're on the ship now, and I've still got that music. Thank you. Right, it's just re rim twitchy because that seems to be the one thing that falls off after a crash for whatever reason. And also, let's do that one. Can't loot and cast nanos. Obviously your hands must be busy when that's occurring. Yeah, if I can ever figure out a way to make SLI work, I will release a video for that. But uh, today is not that day, obviously. Yeah, lower frame rate than single card is not... Hey, look, I got it working. That's complete fail, in fact. So the big hold-up at the moment is having to grind the AI levels. Uh, why do we want to grind them? So we can finish Apotheosis. So you can't actually finish Apotheosis until you've got more AI levels, if you didn't already know that. You see, Apotheosis 7, if we want... Oh, I'm earning XP, aren't I? Um, so, let's get that again. So if I want 7, you can see there, Defender from 25, and at right now... We are 23. So it's just one of those really long-winded things doing AI XP. I mean, you could... I mean, as long as you do your dailies every day, it does go by after a month or so. But it does, you know, compared to how quickly you can make regular XP, it's incredibly slow. I mean, yeah, you can farm our arid rift and just run around randomly killing aliens or do what we've seen plenty of other people doing in these videos, which is... You know, being a pet class or whatever, parking a character and just fighting everything in a certain spot. Like the uh, the collector mobs, very soft targets, um, very easy to kill and yet give you pretty solid AXP. So you, you see a lot of players there running a tab Q script, um, which is literally that. So they're not there. They're on, you know, at work, in bed, whatever certainly not in front of that keyboard um, doing that and quite often charging other players to sit on the rock behind them safely again this is all you know against the the eula like that ever gets enforced so yeah it, it is such, but the reason people resort to that is because they don't have other options other than you know get the dailies done do plenty of raids do the sectors you know etc which just takes so much time yeah given that we need how oh god knows how i'm not even going to look at how many million we actually need there but it is many oh yeah you can't attack them you have to yeah you have to do that so yeah i mean this isn't challenging it's not that engaging le missions maybe but they don't exactly give a lot of alien XP. I mean, you'd be better off farming Arid, really, and sticking to your dailies. I mean, the sectors are very good. If you do... I can't remember if it's sector 13 or whatever. Follow the engineer. I forget which number it is now. Um, on an MT, and you're in the kill team, then, yeah, all's going to go pretty well on the alien XP from one raid, um, because the AOE damage you can generate, which I have shown in a previous video. Right, so that's all of those done. So shall we head on back? I don't know why it always faces you that way. It just does. You want to go through ICC again? No, I don't. I'm so lazy, I'm not even going to go through ICC. I'm going to go to Tio, which is technically absolutely no nearer. But I do like going through tier. Oh, yeah. Remember to turn off the blind before you go running past the sentinels. Your target cannot be attacked. However, it's now made you flagged. All right, thanks. Right, okay. So it's just a quick hand in. And that's kind of it. You know, what can I say? It is just a grind. 
from here on in and it, it kind of feels like one i mean it might get more interesting once we get some alphas in and some higher sort of spec parts but like honestly it's not going to be that different engineer as a class overall is pretty good fun it's mostly fun at the lower levels though where your pet is far more powerful than you are thereafter not as much there we go another nine squillion in there and let's hand in the AI daily mission complete it doesn't make a big dent anymore does it no it doesn't could you just stop playing that file I hate it I've heard it so often in the wrong place that it just bugs me now it absolutely bugs me now <laughs> what can I say I do I just you know like when we were on the alien ship why the hell am I hearing this so yeah pretty quiet at the moment as you can see it's a funny time of day to actually be logged into anarchy online so yeah it it, it is going to be a little quiet but there we go that's us for the day uh, i'll probably log in later on maybe do some inferno missions for um <clears throat> just for the research etc so yeah but there we are folks okay bye for now